I Have a Dream by Sarai McCullough. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave the I Have a Dream speech after his home had been bombed, after being stabbed, and after being imprisoned. He delivered the I Have a Dream speech at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. on August 28, 1963. He was speaking to a huge crowd of people who had marched into Washington in support of civil rights legislation. This is just some of what he said. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out of the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted, every hill and mountain shall be made low, and the rough places will be made plain, and crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to struggle together, to pray together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died. Land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. In summary, Dr. King believed that Americans should be judged solely by their actions and that they should live in harmony together with the same freedoms. Despite all the comebacks and despite all the things that happened, he was willing to do whatever he could to fulfill America's promise to grant all citizens life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. He made influences in the signing of the 1964 and 57 Civil Rights Act, 